everyone. I am so excited because I'm going to be introducing to you Catherine Ryan Hyde and we're going to be talking on the phone. She's got a brand new book called Heaven Adjacent and this is the third time that we are talking and I am so happy about it. Every time I ask her she says yes and uh, you guys all know her from Pay It Forward. She wrote the book and the book got bought for the movie before the book was released. And, you know, that happens now a lot, but this was 1998, okay? It's crazy. And you know why? Because she is amazing. She started a whole, like, movement that paid forward. And all her books have these, like, subtle um, themes. And then by the end of the book, you're like, ah. Oh. And, and I wrote down at least 10 quotes that I, I have to talk to her about. So, everyone, here is Catherine. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am so excited because I am talking with Catherine Ryan Hyde and this is our third conversation and her newest book is called Heaven Adjacent and I am so happy that I get to talk to you again, Catherine. Uh, yeah, that, thank you. Thank you for suggesting it again. Uh, every time I see you, you've got a book coming out. <laughs> yeah, and I have a book coming out twice a year so that could make for a lot of conversations but Anytime you have a new book coming out as an author, you've got to be happy to talk about it, right? Right, and I get so happy when I see you have a new one. And first of all, I love, I always love your covers, always. I, I just, I don't know. There's something about your covers. I don't know if you pick them out, but as soon as I see them, I'm like, oh, they're always so beautiful. I don't literally pick them out. Um, my publisher has the same cover designer each time. They do take uh, – there are some, like the, the my independent editions of books like um, – what are the ones that are indie? When You Were Older, um, Don't Let Me Go. Um, there are like three or four of them where the U.S. editions are independent, and I actually chose the – and some of the real backlist ones like uh, Funerals for Horses and Walter's Purple Heart. But – in this case, the publisher comes up with the cover, but I'm lucky that my publisher gives me a lot more input. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we go back and forth, and I'm like, you know, I was thinking of something a little more like this, or if we could make the characters bigger, it would feel more like there were people going on in this. You know what I mean. There's yeah. A, a process by which we all end up being happy with it, which is nice because I've had a lot of uh, big New York publishers who – I don't want to. I started to say who couldn't have cared less if I liked the cover. It's not entirely true. They cared if I liked it or not, but marketing always won. Oh, right. <laughs> and and so ultimately, it was not the most important thing. Right. Well, I mean, the wake up that cover was just that was beautiful. And you guys, if you want to see all of Catherine's covers, go onto her website because she has them all lined up. On your, I love the way you do that on your books. website. Yeah. It's so well, beautiful. Well, I think it helps people. The reason I put that all together like that is, you know, I'm getting up into the 30s. Yes. After a published book. I mean, I'm up in the 30s. You are. Up into the late 30s if you count um, the high 30s, if you count the ones that are forthcoming that will be out pretty soon. Um, wow. But I find that people think they've read them all, but they're not sure. Mm -hmm. To go look at the cover and then be able to click through and read, you know, a little synopsis of the book, that's how they figure out if they've read it or not. Yeah, well, and the thing I always know when I open up one of your books is that I'm in for a great story. Um, your your stories are just, you know, you walk away with a with a lesson, with a little something to think about. And you didn't even, it wasn't, it's not like it's hammered in there. It's like woven in there. And this book was so, I, I just knew it. I was like, I know I'm going to learn something. From, I, I just know it. And I did. I learned a lot. And oh, good. I love your yeah. characters so much. And, of course, you always have animals. Always. And almost always, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Always. I don't know. Maybe always. Well, not every single book, but um, pretty much. But, Maybe maybe always if you're just counting, you know, the most recent ones. Yeah, and thank you for saying not not hammered in because sometimes a lesson in a book can be a little too much. Right. 
I right. tend to think of it as just being kind of like the other thing you said, kind of more something to think about. Yeah, you know, not and necessarily, you know, hello person who needs to learn something. I'm here to teach you something. That can be a little heavy in a book. Right. To me, it's kind of just maybe different ways of looking at the human condition, what it, you know, what it feels like to try to live a life, and maybe just a little insight into that that gets you looking at things a slightly different way. Yeah, and the characters, I mean, the, Rosanna is the main character in this book. And, you know, I feel like she's my age. I, she could be. I'm I'm 53. I, you know, she's she's yeah, had a career. Yeah, yeah she's, she's had a career. Age. Right, and I have a son that's 30, so I looked at her as my age. Oh, there you, you know? go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because she, she and Alice were going to retire at 55. Right, right, and they were only Alice a couple years shy 53. of that. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, so that is awesome. Call. And and you know this age is you know it's so different from my grandmother being in her fifties because our children are getting older, but we're still young. We're not yeah. like you know when I look back at my grandmother in her fifties, she it's such a different thing. Like she really wasn't doing much. <laughs> she really yeah. wasn't. She you know she was very based on our family and. Um, I just don't remember her being very active. And now, you know, we we still have half a life left, pretty much, you know. Yeah, well, case. I don't. I'm just <laughs> free, but, you know, I'm not going to live to be 126, but i got plenty of life. Oh, I mean, you never know until we get there. Well, you, you never know? know, yeah, as long as I can still read and write. Right. I'll, I'll be happy enough even if I'm, you know, not as active as I am now. But yeah. I'm very active at 63. Um, I own my own horse. I ride dressage. I'm showing my horse. <gasps> wow. I'm putting together a, a musical freestyle dressage on my horse. It's, you know, and so I ride him five times a week. I w- ride one of my trainer's horses three times a week. And then I write two books a year. So yeah, I was going to say, and then there's the writing, you know. Not sitting home acting old. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Two books a year is a lot. It is a it lot is. to put together, you know. It is. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's something that somebody could do or wants to do who writes at what the world considers a normal speed. I think you'd be rushing them, and that would show. But the thing about me is I've always written fast. I'm not trying to hurry. It's just how I write. I've always written a draft of a book in about five months. Now I've got it to where I'm doing it more like four months. It's it's just my process. So the only real difference for me is that I found a publisher who wants to keep up with me and publish them twice a year. It used to be I'd write them really quickly, and then they'd sit like planes yeah. on a runway waiting for somebody to bring them out. Right. Yeah, that's what's so awesome about Lake Union is they let you write as much as you yep. want, you know. And and the authors like you love them for that. I mean, that is, you know, I love them that's for key. many reasons. Yeah, I they, I love them, and and you know their covers. I mean, I was talking about your covers. Like Lake Union <laughs> has stepped it up for covers, and I just want to give them a little shout out because I do love their covers so much. Uh, you know, in the past year or so, I've just noticed that they are just been you know phenomenal but and i do love them because they do let authors like you write a lot and i I read a lot so i want to <laughs> i want you to they, if you want to write a lot, a lot. Things very well they they promote the book very well yes um, yes they're very um flexible and modern in terms of social media yep. obviously they have the tools of amazon at their disposal and yes. i don't want to oversell that point because when it comes to something like Kindle daily deals or Kindle monthly deals, they they put their books in for that, but they don't get like an automatic acceptance over traditionally published books from other publishers. But they do have the Amazon tools at their disposal. Yeah, um, yeah. And they have they you know they have these really basic things, like um, you know now on Amazon, if you want to know every time that author publishes a new book. You just follow that author, and they let you know. Yep. Or uh, that's how I find them. Yep. 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 <laughs> it, it becomes almost like Netflix algorithms, which in a way is a good thing. You know, Netflix will tell me what movie I might like 
because a bunch of other people who liked that same movie I liked also liked this other movie that I haven't seen yet. So maybe I should try that. And so they they have a chance to kind of see what type of books people are interested in and say, hey, have you tried Catherine Ryan Hyde? And that's right. a good thing. Oh, it's awesome. And and like you said, I follow them and then I get advance notice, which I love. You know, that that's just, you know. That's that's right up my alley. You can advance like notice too. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm an author and I want people to know what I'm doing. So that's a very good thing. So there's yeah. a lot I love about about my publisher. Because yeah, I've been with a lot of publishers. I've put out independent editions. I have uh, foreign publishers. I've been with um, Simon and Schuster, Doubleday and Knopf. Wow. But then with the very traditional big New York houses. Right. And so I, you know, I have a, a broad experience of what publishing can be like. This is a good publishing experience. And everybody says that. So yeah. that's what I love is I'm everybody says that. You know. So anyway, well, you I, know, I've noticed a couple of people um, who communicate with other Lake Union authors online kind of, um, I don't know, maybe not knowing how lucky they were. Mm -hmm. And so I actually asked one of them, you know, have have you been with traditional publishers or is this your first publishing experience? And was rather testily told that that made no difference. But I think it does make a difference because I think when you've been with, when you've been with the traditional I mean, Amazon Publishing is a real publisher. It's not right. self-publishing. Lake Union is a real publisher. But I can't call them a traditional publisher because they're not traditional. Right. They're, right. they're a real publisher who, who approaches things in a non-traditional way. I mean, something as basic as if you were the New York House, they pay you twice a year. And they pay you on a royalty period that ended six months before they cut the check. Oh, that's a long time to be waiting for your money. And how anybody gets by on two payments a year, I have no idea. And well, that's, I think. Pays you every month. And they wow. send you a statement that you can read and understand, not a statement that even your agent can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> What's that worth, you know? Well, I think that's why a lot of authors have other jobs. <laughs> to tell you the and truth, I you don't. Know? <laughs> I've been a, I have been a full time author making a living though sometimes it's been a sketchy living right now it's going great but there have been some ups and downs but I've been making a living as a full time author since nineteen ninety seven I think or nineteen that's amazing nineteen ninety eight yeah that was when I sold paid forward to paid forward. I was just going to say that sounds like the pay it forward day, you know. And there were there were definitely downtimes after that where I was holding it together by the skin of my teeth. But I don't have another job. So it matters to me something like how often they give me the money I earned. Right. It makes a huge difference. I don't know what other business someone is allowed to hold your money for a year before paying it to you. No. That's pretty crazy. radical when you think about it. And at the time, authors accepted that because all the publishers did it that way. There was only one kind of publisher. You were lucky to have one, and it's just the way it was. But now that we have the options, you know, yeah. why would you uh, well, go back to that old system? Um, I'd never, as a reader... I am so happy that we don't have, you know, that it's the way it is today because, um, you know, some of my favorite authors, I used to have to wait a year, at least a year, if not 18 months to get a book that would just be sitting there. And to me, it always seemed like ridiculous that that, that would happen, you know. 18 That's months why. was like the industry standard from the time you turned a book into them to the time it actually became available for sale. That's just crazy. It is. So, you know, that's what makes me happy. It doesn't take that long. I mean, obviously it doesn't take that long because, you know, if it's if you're in the middle of the OJ trial and somebody writes a book about the OJ trial, they'll have it out in five Right, so right. You know it can go faster than that. Right. 
but it just it doesn't. There's a lot about it that I find. I, I shouldn't complain about the way it used to be. All I'm really trying to say is I really like my publisher. They're I modern. They do things differently. They treat the author better. Yes. And, uh, and, and they are the first publisher who has literally connected my books with my audience. That is, found the people who want to read that type of book and connected the two. That's never happened before. I've got well, big I'm... advances, and, and the idea is, is we can connect. We we will connect this to, you know, this great cross-section of people, but somehow it, that connection didn't get made. This is the first time I've actually had people who uh, read all my books and are waiting for the next one to come out. Oh, I know. They're like me. <laughs> as Which soon as I see it, I'm like, I have to I have to text to Catherine. <laughs> They're just like me. I love reading your books. I love, love, love these books. And you know what? I wrote down at least like 10 quotes from this book, and I had to stop myself from writing more because I'm really a quote person. And I go back after I'm done reading the book and I reread the quotes that I wrote down. Oh, and because I just, you know, that, that to me I always is, like hearing the quotes that people like. Well, I'm going to give you, you my favorite. Like, you know, going out on Amazon and putting, you know, doing a review with some of the quotes you like. I love hearing what stands out to people. Well, I have three. I, I got it down to three, okay, and then I picked my favorite one. And even though the two are not, I mean, it's a really a three-way tie. But okay. <laughs> so here it says. Now, Roseanne, you know, we were talking about, like, she comes to this crossroads in her life. She's a lawyer um, in New York City, and she decides she doesn't, you know, her, her best friend. I don't know how much I should say. I think it's okay to t- say talk about I Alice. I think it says it in, the in the book beginning. description that she's just lost her best friend in love okay. her. So I don't think that's a spoiler. Okay, and so she loses her best friend at a very young age, and she realizes that, you know, this may not be the most fun thing in the world for her to do, and so she is figuring out what she wants to do, and, you know, <laughs> I I love her journey, okay, because her first instinct is, I want to be left alone, because she's from New York City, you know, she's dealt with yeah. New York City for a very long she's time. She's overwhelmed so by She's people, overwhelmed. Yeah. She's overwhelmed, but then, you know, she comes to, to like people, we'll say that, and um, so she she says this quote, and I love this, people who are alive, she thought, and it's not always a forever kind of thing, and not always meant to be, not every deal is for keeps, and, you know, when I read this, I kind of teared up, because, you know, especially in this world of, you know, I've been through two divorces in my life and, you know, and then I have children that question my decisions about those divorces and, you know, that forever, like, is it forever? Uh, I, you know, at this point in my life, at this age, I can look at them both and think, no, it wasn't forever. It was a time. It was a time. You know, we grow, we change. And, you know, like Anything I said, we forever, really. I mean, if a person doesn't, leave your life for other reasons, one of you is going to die. I mean, how how is anything really forever? Right. Like a series of comings and goings. Yeah. I think it gets easier if we can accept that. I think so, too. And it, I think it does take a little bit of distance to be able to accept that, a little bit of aging to accept that. And, you know, it's, it's when I try to explain it to my children who are in their 20s, I understand that they're not going to get that. They're right. just not. You know, I think it does take some age to understand that. And, you know, I I hope they don't have to understand it in the same exact way, but I think everybody goes through it in one way or another. And, you know, even when she's talking about her best friend in that instance, like it wasn't going to be forever, you know? Yeah, obviously not. Right. So I, I just, you know, I loved her journey. <laughs> she, and first of all, everybody, just so you know, like this is funny. It is a great fun book okay there is like, a level she, of humor in it yes i loved her i love her with thinking. the horse I, to me the horse is funny <laughs> oh my there's God. a 38 year old horse who eats the blades off her <laughs> and, she in and then of course it costs her a fortune to keep the horse from dying contestants. and he's you know he's kind of he's funky looking and he's funky smelling and he just has a lot of attitude but to me, there's a lot of humor around the horse. 
Yes, and so just of course, the last thing she wants is a horse. She right. She really likes the dog, but you kind of know she likes the dog at the same time. <laughs> I think she likes the dog because the dog doesn't talk to her. I I loved her interactions with the little girl, and you know, oh, because, yeah. because it's just their their banter. Like I love the way you wrote, like what was in her head and then what came out her mouth. Like I just, you know, it, it was just so cute. <laughs> you know. I, do, I do think that even though it ha- it is about some serious subjects, yes, it's not a very serious subject. It's about like, hey, wake up in your life. Are you happy? Is this what you thought your life was going to be? Is this? Are you where you meant to go? And right. It's not you know like what are you doing? I mean that's a pretty serious subject, but. Beyond that, I think on a sort of page-to-page, day-to-day basis, it is perhaps more lighthearted than a lot of Oh, absolutely. Books. Absolutely. That's what I feel about your books is like, like I said before, I know there's a, you know, I know there's a theme and I know I'm going to think, but the characters are the ones that I fall in love with. And, you know, and I fell in love with her. I loved her. I didn't want to give her up. <laughs> so I, I really want to, I'm, I'm interested to see. I can't wait when it comes out to see what everybody else says about her, you know, if they love her that much, you know. Yeah, I, I should, I, I'm interested too, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the page on Amazon, its book page has actually opened early for reviews. So I have seen about the first six or seven reviews. Oh, um, yes, I did that. Now I'm looking at it. I don't yes. think if they specifically talked about the main character, but, of course, they're basically uh, positive. Yes. Oh, well, they're all po- – yeah, absolutely. They're all positive. And, you know, this is – I love the, I love the story with her son. Like I said, I have a 30-year-old son, and he lives in Arizona and married and has children. And, you know, I was sitting there while I was reading it. I'm thinking, I wonder if I'll ever have this kind of a conversation with him. I would love to have the time to have that kind of conversation. And, you know, that that I think most parents don't get at that age. Probably not, yeah. You know? But, again, it's a book about, you know, it's a book about, hey, what's missing here? Right. Right. And she no, she's just – and everything she was – you know, when she talked to her son, uh, just all the thoughts she had, I was like, oh, my gosh, she is me. That This is – if I ever became a lawyer I, – I was a legal secretary, so that was close, but oh, – <laughs> Yeah. In my former in my former life, but anyway, Catherine, it, it's truly, truly, you did such a great job, and I love your books. And oh, I you really have so appreciate many, hearing that. I'm very so happy many fans. So so okay, so this one's out, and this one's going to no, be this out. This one is out on the 19th. Well, that's when we're releasing this, so the everybody 19th. will be able to buy it when oh, they okay. hear when they hear us. Okay. So very what? Well. Okay, so that's okay. of course it's out. <laughs> funny how these things sneak up on you. That's right. Um, so we're talking like end of the year for another? Yes, December. I don't oh. have the date December which. Okay. But there will be a new one out in December. There's another one that's finished that will be out next summer. I oh. just handed one to my agent that will be for the end of 2019. That is crazy. I'm start working on something new. No wow. The way it is, they say. No. <laughs> oh, well, I'm happy that they just let you keep writing. Okay, I'm very, very well, happy about that. I was going to do it anyway. I mean, I was going to keep writing anyway. I'm just happy that somebody's picking up this stuff and putting it out there. Yeah, and I'm going to have all of your links so people can go on your uh, Facebook page because you do oh, take beautiful pictures. I love your pictures, and you know, I see everybody does, and you know, it's just so now it's I refreshing. Get my photo site to come back together. <laughs> right. But yeah, I'm having one of those technological days with my photos, oh. right? but we'll get it all sorted out. And you yeah, will. I do post photos on Facebook and sometimes even on Twitter. Yeah, I'm not on Twitter that much, so I just see the Facebook ones. But it's so refreshing to see like fun things on Facebook. I hate all the serious stuff. I want to see fun things, you know, yeah, when I, I go on. I to be a little upbeat. On yes. Facebook. I have a little bit of a different persona on Facebook than I do on Twitter. I'm a little bit more politically, socially involved on Twitter and more just a writer gratitude person on Facebook. Sort of person on Facebook. It's just a different, I don't know, it's a different scene. 
Yes, it is. Well, I will have all your links uh, listed below. Everyone, go get her book. You can get it today. It'll have the button that you just press on Amazon. It's so awesome because then you go there and you just have to press one button and you get it. You can be reading it in like 30 seconds. That's right. It's like, it's too easy. It really is. Modern life, no waiting. (laughs) Well, you have a great day, Catherine. Thank you so much. I hope to talk to you at the end of the year with your next book. I can't wait. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone, for listening to Catherine and I talk. And you know what? I knew it was going to be amazing because she is amazing. She is such a great writer. She does not need me to tell her this, okay? And um, this book, guys, go get it. I know you can see the picture of it. And um, I she will be giving one away when I release this video. So I'm really happy about that, that somebody's going to get to win this book. And um, I can't wait. She has another one coming out in December and we are going to talk again. So I just want to thank Catherine. All of her links are listed below. Thank you, everyone.